Another term that I've heard around car setup is kinematics. What are kinematics exactly? Kinematics, well, that's basically um, studying what's happening with the motion of the suspension. But what it's really all about is what's happening at that contact patch in its optimum condition. If you imagine the car going along in a, in a straight line, you often see, it's quite, you can actually see the camber on these cars because Formula One cars run with quite a lot of camber and you'll see the tire will be there and, and it's cambered over. Now, when you get into a cornering condition, a few things happen. One is there's a lot of roll on the car because if you're doing 4G, that's a huge amount of force that you're having to basically resist. And the outside of the car goes heavy, those tires see a lot of load. So you'll see that tire stand up quite a bit. And this is the outside tower tire that we're considering, but the outside tire is the most important one because it's got the most load on it. It can therefore generate the most cornering force. The other thing you'll start to see is you get a distortion here. What's going on, the contact patch is generating a lot of load. It's dragged across. You'll design a suspension to try and put that camber back in often. In a high speed corner, you're using the fact that at the rear of the car, you've got a lot of, a lot of motion and you can design a car that when the ride height drops, the camber goes up and on that outside wheel, it's putting that camber back in place. Once you can start to understand how the tires generate force in a given load condition, what's the optimum camber angle, you can then start to design a suspension to suit a given tire. And if we changed uh, from a Pirelli tire to a different manufacturer, or even if Pirelli make a big change to their tires, it may be that you've got to redesign your suspension to make sure that they spend most of their time in that optimum condition. We're seeing the virtual world used more and more and, and simulation. How much setup work can we actually achieve, real setup work in, in the virtual world? And what can't we simulate?